And where are you located? We rent from the First Congregational Church here in Reading. We have a few rooms that we have all the time, and we rent additional rooms as we need them. Um, and it's easiest to access us through the town hall parking lot. Um, then we have a back door there. Oh, and how would um, children or adults sign up to use any of your services? Uh, well, we always love visitors. We're there Monday through Friday, 11 to 6.30 during the school year. During the summer, our office hours are more like 9 to 4. We're there longer, um, but you can catch us at those times. So come okay. in and visit. Otherwise, visit Great. us online. Um, we post things online at um, weteachcreativearts.org or through our Facebook page. We often have links to other registration uh, sites. Great, great. And do you have any uh, special events coming up? We do. We have a great fundraiser coming up. Um, we often will collaborate um, with organizations. And this time we're collaborating with the St. Agnes Parish here in town. They um, are needing to do some renovations to their new kitchen in their parish center. Oh. And we need to raise funds for our scholarships and the arts and music education program. Mm -hmm. So this Saturday, May 14th at 7 o'clock, we're doing a wine tasting. We'll have 12 different uh. vendors. We'll have food. Bertucci's of Reading, who um, has been sponsoring us for many years, is um, doing a bunch of food, not just pizza. In oh, fact, the pizza is for the kids, okay, the other food is for us, and that's at 7. It's only $25, so we can't go wrong for dinner. Oh, and that's tasting. great. Yeah, it's very hard to get a dinner out yes. for that price. Yes, yeah. exactly. Um, and we do have another event. We have a free community event. Every year we do um, what we call Celebrating the Arts, and on Friday, May 20th, we're doing it this year, and um, at 6 o'clock we have a free dinner, and then at 7 o'clock we start a program where we have it's kind of like an honors recital we oh, have nice. um, our, some of our Very top nice. music students um, and our some of our theater students we have an art exhibit by some of our students and teachers we usually have some guest um, teachers perform um, and we give out awards so awards for merit-based scholarships and a founders award which recognizes an individual or a company in the community who has really been supportive of creative arts over the years oh, um, really this year's nice. we're recognizing cooling unlimited who's been very oh. Generous and oh, giving to nice. us um, a neighbor. Yeah, they're right up the street from you. So, um, so we're excited about that, and that's always a free event um, due uh -huh. to sponsors, and um, it's a great way to get out and kind of see what creative arts is all about. Things we do all year round. That's great. That's great. Um, now, are you a year-round? Uh, uh, session. Do you have year-round sessions? Or? Yep. Um, we we close for two weeks during the year, between Christmas and New Year's, and the last week oh, of summer before so the Labor Day. So we're open all year. Oh. During the school year, it's mostly week-long programs. So you could take an art class every Monday at four or whatever, depending on the age group. Um, so there's weekly classes during the school year. During vacation weeks, February and April, we have special programming. And then during the summer, we have week-long programs. Some of those are half-day, some are full-day. And then we do special workshops throughout the year too. Oh, that's great. And I seem to remember seeing you usually have a booth at um at the um, out everything street fair. <laughs> I know <laughs> street fair. Uh, yeah, it's family, family day. day. Um yes, definitely. We try to be involved in as much community stuff as possible. We want to give back. Um, any way we can, and also make people more aware of us. Um, we're kind of the yeah. best kept secret here in town, unfortunately, I and know. we need to, everybody needs to know who we are, but yeah, we right. have a booth at the street fair, we're at Friends and Family Day, um, we're going to be at the Reading Garden Club thing this Saturday. Oh, this so, weekend, yeah. oh, that's great. So that's it's a long great. day for us, we start yeah. very early, and we'll go all the way to our fundraiser at the right. end. Right. Now, now when, when, you, when, when you participate, participate in those events, events what, what do you, you typically, typically do? Do you... We usually have a craft station set up. We have all of our programming information. It's usually timed pretty well because it's usually the start of a new session, so mm -hmm. we usually have new programming. But we have crafts, and then a lot of times we'll have some instruments for kids to come check out, or adults. Um, occasionally, uh, some of the students or teachers will do a little performing and jamming right at the, the booth, which is kind of fun. So. That is. That does sound like a lot of fun. That's great. <laughs> Um, right. So, and a lot of times, another thing we do at the booths um, is, especially the street fair, um, we're kind of gearing up for the next school year season, and um, we're always looking for new board members. As a nonprofit organization, you oh, know, I we're see. always looking for volunteers, whether on special committees or the board of directors, to become involved and really help us move to the next level here in town. So, so if someone wanted to become involved in that way, how would they? How would they approach you? How would they? 
um, come by and visit or email me, um, jennifer at weteachcreativearts.org. I'm happy to speak with people in person or um, through email and meet with you and find out what your interests are and how we can work together because it's all about um, fulfilling needs both on our end and the volunteers' end. Okay, great. Well, well thank, thank you, you so much. much. And we are going to take a break at this point. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.